Christmas season. So I guess technically it would begin on Black Friday where traffic is so heavy you can only go like five miles per hour on the highway. And it always seems as that exit gets closer, the speedometer gets lower, but we do it anyways. Doing it to find that perfect gift for little Anna and little Timmy because their expectations are oh so high for when Santa comes down that chimney. And don't even get me started on how much food will be consumed. Eat so much that you just pass out in the next room. Wake back up at around two to go back up for around two. <laughs> ding, ding, I can just hear those Christmas bells ring. I can just feel that cold winter breeze. It's finally Christmas Eve. And in less than 24 hours, we'll get to see what's underneath that tree. The kids are running around with joy and glee. But while ripping open presents as happy as can be, let's not forget the man who gives us happiness for eternity. See, he was born in a manger by a virgin teenager to be a friend, not a stranger, to protect us from danger. Meanwhile, three wise men could see from afar a shining light that would soon be their guiding star. Under this star, a boy named Jesus would be born. Born unto all men to free us all from sin. We're free, free to live, free to have true joy and laughter. And what I love is, in this amazing life story, this is only the first chapter.